I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com on Tuesday, October 22nd. Uh, I want to look at Apple today. Uh, look, a lot of stocks went up today. A lot of stocks went down. Uh, tech kind of mostly went down. But uh, Apple uh, released their new tablet today, or they told us what was going to be in it. And that was fine, but the stock didn't really do much. In fact, it traded in a wider um, range than it did the prior day. Not exactly a bearish engulfing pattern. The stock just basically closed flat. But still, um, this is the first time in quite a while that the stock has had a down day. And it occurred on heavy volume. So there's something happening here. Also, just look at how far this has come. 15%. Um, since this last low. Okay, so 15% on some tech stocks isn't very much, but for Apple it kind of is because the bloom came off the rose. Um, but here's how I would trade this thing. Um, this, the company announces earnings on October 28th, so that's six days from now. Just draw a line down here. You can go 490. I would say this though. I would look at 500 bucks. If Apple happens to pull back, like let's say we get a weekday, um, I would want to buy this stock at uh, any time, anywhere below 500 bucks. If you are an Apollonian, if you want to buy this thing, know that you roll out here. You can see that the stock has had this double bottom. It's in this consolidation phase here. But uh, I'll ask you a question. If we look at this sales price, where it's selling at right now, do we really think that Apple will absolutely not fill this box, that it's just going to completely keep going, never pull back. I don't think so. There's no catalyst for that. So even if Apple were to roll up tomorrow, let's say it moves a little higher, again, don't you think at some point Apple's going to come back into this box? Um, that's when I would want to be buying this thing. And if it does keep moving, like let's say it just keeps moving into earnings, this is going to set up to be a sell the news, I'm just telling you, if it keeps moving into earnings. If it does not, if it does correct, giving you a chance to buy it under 500 bucks, then you could get a buy the earnings situation. So we were at kind of a little bit of an inflection point on Apple, but I'll just say it again. The takeaway is this. If you can get it below 500, then go ahead and do so. Just look at this area down here, uh, right here as your reference um, for trend line. So, okay, members, over to the strategy session. Um, we got a lot of stocks that we're covering today.